of a knee is such a unique knee by its design that early on, I can understand that people may have had concerns. It is highly conforming on the medial side by design and looser on the lateral side by design to allow for natural kinematics. The fact of the matter is, now that we have 20 years of longevity with such a high success rate of over 98%, we have the best of all the worlds, longevity, but in addition to longevity, we also know that it is a perfect design for clinical stability that the, the medial pivot gives. By having the medial conformity with the lateral side that's meant to be looser, that's the perfect combination. We found that, in fact, the medial pivot knees were doing better. They were uh, statistically better in terms of their forgotten knee score uh, at one year. The Forgotten Knee Score is a series of questions that is essentially trying to uh, determine to what degree a patient forgets that they've had a joint replacement. We did a comparison using the medial pivot and another company's knee as well. Studies showed that patients were closer to completely forgetting that they had their knee replaced. It was really interesting that the findings of the study correlated perfectly with uh, you know, what we theoretically think is the benefit of, this, of the uh, implant. What excites me most about the medial pivot knee is the fact that um, after all these years, uh, I don't feel compelled to consider any other knee. I look at other knee systems. Uh, on occasion, the patient has had a, another system on the other side, and we try to match the other side. The other thing that comes up is patients with nickel allergy, and we're forced to use uh, a different design. And the difference in the immediate post-op and later post-op outcome is, uh, is significant. And it's not hard to, to see the difference in uh, some of the other designs versus the medial pivot. So what's exciting is that I don't have to change. I can only figure out how to get better and better as we do more and more of these knees. We have 20 years of follow-up. Why shouldn't you choose for the medial pivot for the EMP? What I tell surgeons who are not on board, I, I, I try to to explain that, uh, that they have to look more into their patient's uh, results and, and the prompts. Um, they say, okay, you're, you're satisfied, but how is your patient? What is his activity level? And if you be honest, show me, ask him more about how he's going down the stairs, if he can run, if he can be more active, ask him about that. And don't be just satisfied if he has no pain and he can bend his knee 125, that you have to go more into your patient's results and activity. And then you will find out that a lot of your patients are not satisfied. And if you change into the medial pivot, you will see that you will have, and you will improve your results and have really more happier patients. You won't have that with the current system you're using.